Hello everybody, in this video I will show you the setup of my Robocat 270. Many of you have asked for PIDs, uh, although all the captures are different, so I don't suggest to copy those PIDs what I have here, uh, unless you have the exact same hardware on your captor. But I will show you and tell you about other settings what I have in LibrePilot. So this is version 15.09, latest LibrePilot by date. And let's see how I have mine set up. And right now I have the GPS disconnected, so we have uh, nothing set up uh, for any of the UARTs here. Um, also, I have a PPM receiver. So you can basically use a different uh, unique uh, receiver unless you are using the onboard built-in 433 MHz Oplink modem. If you are using the Oplink, you should first enable it and don't forget to uh, connect the given antenna for it or it will be burned. So you click on the uplink and uh, to enable it you select the PPM only or PPM. Any of those will require to reboot the copter and uh, the power should be set. So 100 is the maximum. Uh, if any of other than zero is set, then it means that the uplink modem is online and working after a reboot uh, and the antenna should be connected. So I have an external PPM receiver connected to the uh, Flexi IO port here. And uh, we have a generic Quad X configuration. Nothing is really changed here. It's all the defaults as the wizard gets it in the end. Input side, right now I have the external PPM. Uh, if you are using the Oplink modem, there should be an Oplink option here. So it's, all, it's a set up by the transmitter wizard. So you don't have to do anything if you do the transmitter setup wizard. I have six channels, uh, a three mode flight uh, flight mode switch, and uh, an accessory zero switch to arm and disarm the copter. As a flight mode switch, I have three uh, positions stabilized one, two, and three, and I have set it up like so. Right now, it's kind of a race configuration right now in. Uh, I have the attitude mode in one, a simple rate mode in the second uh, position and the third position has acro plus set up. And the arming goes with, uh, with the accessory zero switch so I arm with a dedicated switch. And also arming timeout is uh, decreased to 5, 12 seconds uh, just to be secure. On the output side, the only thing I'm using one shot 125 uh, protocol to communicate with the ESCs. ESCs are the little bit 20 amps, so they are perfectly fine handling it. And uh, throttle minimum maximum is its, it's default. Uh, you should only search for the min throttle right now in our case it's 1035 uh, this should be set by yourself uh, to the point where the motors are spinning uh, spinning uh, fluently continuously without hesitation or hiccups and a uh, few points more because uh, in the air uh, the prop can stall and uh, it's better to have more authority in the lower or lower section too. And the attitude tab 
you can calibrate all your sensors as usual you should do it now and then uh, after a few flights I always calibrate uh, board level gyro bias and uh, if you are using uh, GPS modes you need to always calibrate magnetometer at the place where you are trying to fly and uh, the best practice is to calibrate it in the holding the copter in the air so not not on the ground because there are other magnetic fields that can affect the calibration in the settings tab uh, I have a home position set from the GPS mode flying I did but right now no GPS is connected so it just set away um, I have this basic algorithm selected for acro type flying uh, for GPS flying you always uh, need to choose this GPS navigation uh, option here filtering is for the noisy copters you should uh, raise this filter uh, the default is fine I think and uh, virtual relative board is only needed when you uh, have your flight controller installed in a way where the, the arrow doesn't pointing forward so if you have the arrow pointing right then you add your 90 degrees and that that will counteract the rotation of the board and you can always check it in here in the fly data that the copter moves the way you you move it by yourself okay and now the stabilization tab where the fun part begins so here are the settings which uh, are crucial and uh, independent for each quad to fly well here you can set up the PIDs and the other stabilization rates loops etc uh, all, um, so the way I have it set up I use the advanced tab and uh, there you can find my PIDs and rates right now the PIDs are for this copter only and to start you, sh you can use this but it needs fine tuning for other copters as well so right now I have the RCX 2205 2350 kV motors with little b20 amps and the BL 14.4 on them and I have the revolution exactly on it and uh, on a Robocat frame which is about 400 grams naked without uh, battery and any HD camera the props I am using right now are DAL 5045 noses, and for those these PIDs works work well I don't use TPS and uh, I only bumped one point up the pitch proportional for attitude mode uh, in the expert tab I don't think I changed anything on the basic tab you can set up the acro plus factor I have it set up 44 which is pretty snappy not the fastest but pretty snappy and I have set up uh, exponential curve for roll pitch and yaw axis like so you can mess with other settings here in the system tab and uh, there are many many fine tuning uh, possibilities here uh, and you can find also what uh, is set up through the graphical interface if you have your copter set up well and uh, properly you have uh, 
brown or you have brown uh, boxes which are which aren't uh, enabled green boxes are good to go orange have some warnings and the reds are obviously uh, some errors indicate some errors right now i have input orange because i haven't turned on the transmitter so that's why it's orange i have gps disabled so you can see all the gps functions are brown and the battery sensor is disabled too because it is set up for 3s batteries and now we are trying 4s2 and uh, the voltage divider isn't set up the way it can handle 4s so mainly that's it thanks for watching and if you have any questions please uh, ask it in the comments hope you like it goodbye